Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rick Hadley, President of the Board of Public Service. This is the June 1st, 2021 meeting of the board. Letting number, letting number, letting number, letting number, that is for the 2022 and 2023 citywide sidewalk contract. And I will let uh, the folks in the boardroom do the opening, please. Okay, good afternoon. I'm reading for letting number 8729. We have one bid. Okay, the company's name is SBC Contracting Inc. And the total bid amount is $1,081,207.50. And this is for our fiscal year 2022 and 2023 citywide sidewalk contract. Project number R2021-02. One, two, six. Can you please read the bid uh, numerically one digit at a time? Yes, sir. Okay, the bid amount again is 1 million. That's one. The bid amount is 1 million, $81,207.50. That's one comma, zero, eight, one comma, two, zero, seven, Period five zero. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, That's all we have today. Yes, sir. That was, we only had the one one um proposal submitted. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me write down this. Uh -huh. This is a public meeting, and it is being recorded. And so, I would ask that only board directors are allowed to speak at this meeting unless recognized by myself or the secretary. But at this time, I would ask the secretary to please call the roll. Director Echols. Yeah, you got to give us his um, information today. Director Isom. Which will be Thursday. Officials. Yeah. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Russell. Director Scobie. Here. Director Wilson. Here. And President Bradley. Here. We have a quorum. I will now call this meeting in order. For the president, recommendation that approval be given as follows. Plans and specifications for letting number 8732, the structure rehabilitation Lambert International Boulevard Bridge over Coldwater Creek at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. Estimated cost of 725000 to be paid from ordinance number 70. 617. Supplemental Agreement, Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission, First Supplemental Agreement for Maintenance of Chippewa Street, Route 366. Supplemental Agreement Number 1 to PSA Number 1246, Design and Reconstruction of 12R through 30L from Taxiway R to G at St. Louis Lambert International Airport with TRC Environmental Corp to modify the scope of work and is authorized by ordinance number 71005. From the Office of Special Events, request for the following to be approved with certain conditions. Special event, the Macklin Mile on June 26, 2021, starting at Macklin and Sublet and ending at Macklin and Devonshire. Temporary outdoor seating expansion, Central West End Outdoor Dining on Euclid between Maryland and Washington for the following Fridays and Saturdays, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. and Sundays, 10.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. June 6th, 4th through 6th, 11th through the 13th, 18th through the 20th, 25th through the 27th of 2021. Temporary outdoor seating expansion for Yaktis on Cherokee, the 3400 block of Iowa between Cherokee South to First Alley for Fridays and Saturdays, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. 
June 11 through the 12th, 18th through the 19th, 25th through the 26th, 2001, and July 2nd through the 3rd for 2021. Temporary outdoor seating expansion for Pat's Bar and Grill on 6400 open private property and sidewalk on Tam Avenue, no street closure, Monday through Sunday, 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. from June 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021. President and Directors of Human Services, Parks, Recreation and Forestry, Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following be approved with certain conditions. Application number 129194, Edgar M. Queenie at L. TRS Barnes Hospital, request permission to construct a new 16-story inpatient tower and the associated site improvements and utilities. Specifically, there will be new sidewalk improvements, new curb ramps, water main connections, and electric glass connections at 4989 Barnes Jewish Hospital Plaza in City Block 3888. Director of Public Utilities recommendation that the board declare as emergency actions the following. Replace Chain of Rocks filter plant communication cabling. Replace at the Howard Ben plant boiler house vent stack. Director of Public Utilities and Streets. Joint recommendation that five applications from American Fibercom be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 127517. Project begins at existing manhole and road at 2601 Olive Street, or 1,811 feet south on the west side of North Jefferson, or west on the north side of Clark Avenue to New Handhole. Application number 127525. Project begins at existing manhole and road at 3307 North Broadway, or 225 feet north on the west side of North Broadway, or 145 feet west on the north side of Engelrat Street, or 102 feet north in the alley to New Handhold. Application number 127526. Project begins at 5179 Martin Luther King Drive, or 159 feet north on the west side of Union Boulevard, or 234 feet west in the alley to existing Handhold. Application number 127. 527, project begins at existing manhole in road at 1450 North 10th Street, or 171 feet north on the west side of North 9th Street to New Handhole, or 56 feet east across North 9th Street to existing Handhole. Application number 127528, project begins at existing manhole in road at 1450 North 10th Street or 171 feet north on the west side of North 9th Street to New Handhold, or 56 feet east across North 9th Street to existing Handhold. Joint recommendation that one application from charter be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 127532, place conduit and cable starting at a pole at the corner of Sublard Street and South 12th Street and bore Southwest 239 feet stopping at pole behind 1820 Tucker Boulevard. Joint recommendation that one application from Union Electric doing business as Ameren MO be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 129214, install new conduit from existing manhole at 18th and Clark Avenue and connect to customer installed conduit on Clark Avenue. Install new cable from existing manhole at 16th Street and Clark Avenue to custom meter equipment on Clark Avenue east of 18th Street. Director of Streets, recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Request from McKinley Heights Neighborhood Association to encroach with five neighborhood signs to be attached to city stop signs located where Jefferson Avenue intersects with Allen and Shenandoah, Victor and Sydney. Recommendation that the following be denied. Application 129218. Request from Curtis York, York from Cherokee Grill to encroach on a metal bench in front of business windows at 2846 Cherokee Street. For the have an addendum one to the agenda items for June 1st, 2021. For the president, recommendation that approval be given as follows. Addendum number one to letting number. 8731 BPS Project R2020-31-087-C9 Garage Dem Demolition at Cervantes Convention Center, St. Louis, Missouri. From the Director of Public Safety, we have conditional uses.
Good afternoon, board members. My name is Terrell Ivan, zoning plan examiner for the city of St. Louis, representing the building commissioner. Proper board order 766 transmitted her with our recommendations for the following conditional use agenda items. Approval with conditions is recommended for six applications. And they are 4207 Russell, 2238 South Jefferson, 404 West Quartar Street, 3724 Chippewa Street, 2800 McNair Avenue, and 5513 Pershing Avenue. We recommend that one item be tabled, and that is 1920 through 24 North Vandeventer for a full drink restaurant, lounge, and summer garden. Uh, the older woman wants to meet with the applicant along with the neighbor uh, to discuss further the details of the business. Are there any questions about uh, the conditional uses? Are there any questions on today's conditional uses from our board members? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion, please. Greg Hayes, motion to approve. You. Wilson, second. Thank you. Can you call the roll, please? Director Eccles. Aye. Director Isom. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Russell. Director Scobie. Aye. Director Wilson. Aye. President Bradley. Aye. Today's conditional uses are approved. I'd like to turn your attention to our meeting minutes from last Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. Are there any questions or comments on the meeting minutes as presented? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion, please. So moved, Eccles. Thank you. There's second. second. Wilson. Thank you. Can you call the roll, please? Director Eccles. Aye. Director Isom. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Russell. Director Scobie. Abstain. Director Wilson. Aye. President Bradley. Aye. The meeting minutes are approved. Addendum number one to today's agenda. Are there any questions or comments on the addendum? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion, please. So moved, Eccles. Thank you. Second, Hayes. Thank you. Can you call the roll, please? Director Eccles. Aye. Director Isom. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Russell. Aye. Director Scobie. Aye. Director Wilson. Aye. And President Bradley. Aye. Addendum number one is approved. Today's agenda, questions or comments on today's agenda? Seeing now, I'll ask for a motion, please. Wilson, so moved. Thank you. Second, Second Eccles. Russell. Thank you. Can you call the roll, please? Director Eccles. Aye. Director Isom. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Russell. Aye. Director Scobie. Aye. Director Wilson. Aye. President Bradley. Aye. Today's agenda is approved. Before we adjourn, are there any comments or questions from any of our board directors? Yeah, this is Hayes. Um, we've been a couple of weeks since the rescission of, of the COVID-related protocol, so to speak. And I personally wanted to thank Dr. Eccles. We've had, we went from a year of telling folks, you really can't do this, what you've done in the past, but now in the last week or two, we've been able to start working with these same folks and opening up, so to speak, to some return to normalcy. Dr. Eccles was also very responsive to a request I had over the holiday weekend. I didn't want to bother him, but he was immediate. And what my comment with him is too, is everybody on this call and on this board, I think we've touched each other in some ways in terms of assistance during COVID. And it's just nice to hopefully be moving safely forward. So thanks everybody. Uh, for all your teamwork in one way or another over the last 14 months. I concur. Thank you, directors. Any further comments? Yeah, Thank one you. one more, Rich. Uh, Dr. Eccles, I'll try to never bother you on a weekend again. <laughs> but I can tell you, you you made uh, some a property owner and citizens very happy with your responsiveness. Thank you. Thank you, director. 
Any further comments from any of our directors? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn, please. So moved, Scobie. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Thank you all. Have a nice afternoon. Thanks, Thank everybody. Too. Have a great week.